Hey everyone, today we are going to solve the little code question palindrome number. Okay, so let me explain with this example 121. So this is a palindrome number, right? So if we read from left side to right side, we can read 121. And if we read from right side to left side, we can read 121. So this is a palindrome number. So how can we judge uh, whether this is a, a palindrome number or not? So point is, if we create number from right side to left side, and then um, that is the same number as uh, input number. So we can say uh, this is a palindrome, right? So to do that, um, we need to get so this one at first, right? So how can we get this one? So it's simple. Uh, we can divide by 10 and uh, get the remainder. So that means 121% 10. So in this case, uh, we will get one, right? So this one means this one, right? And then next, we want to get these two, right? So how can we get these two? So if we use 121, so it's hard to get these two. But uh, if we divide uh, 121 by 10, so that means 121 just divide 10. And in that case, we will get 12, right? So if we get 12, uh, we can easily get these two, right? So we do the same thing like a uh, uh, divide 10 and get the remainder. So um, now we get a uh, uh, one, right? So let's say, uh, so reverse, re oops, bus is now one. And then um, get uh, this two. So to do that, just a 12 percent 10. And in the case, we will get two, right? So um, now we get two, but the problem is uh, reverse is now one. So how can we create a 12 with 1 and 2? So we, if we add just 2 to reverse, so we will get 3, right? But uh, we want 12, right? So how can we create a 12 with 1 and 2? So to do that, um, every time uh, we multiply uh, 10 uh, with this reverse, so that uh, so 1 will be 10, right? So in the case, if we add 2 to 10, so we will create a 12, right? So easy, right? So that's why uh, every time we multiply 10 to reverse, and then after that, add two to um, so this 10, so, so that we can get 12. And then uh, we repeat uh, this process for um, this one. And uh, next, uh, but before that, uh, we have to divide 12 by 10, right? So that we can get one. So 12 uh, divide 10, so that is one, right? And then next, um, we divide um, 10 and get the remainder. So one percent 10 equals one, right? And then before we add this one to 12, so we have to multiply uh, 10, right? So that we can get 120. And then add one to 120. So in the end, we will get 121. And then uh, we finish iteration from right side to left side. And then now uh, we have 121 from left side to right side, not, not left side, right side to left side. And then, um, so we all we have to do is just compare uh, input number with uh, this number we created. But the problem is uh, we already uh, divide 121 and then 121 is now one, right? Or uh, zero, I guess. And, and then, so how can we uh, compare uh, this 121 and this 121? So it's easy. Uh, before we start this algorithm, so we keep 121 uh, to uh, another variable, just copy. So let's say x copy, and then keep 121, and then start this algorithm. And in the end, just compare this 121 and uh, this 121. And then uh, we know that they are same, right? So in this case, uh, we should return true. If not, we should return false. Yeah, so that is a basic idea to solve this question. So let's jump into the code. OK, so let's write the code. Um, first of all, uh, we have to handle negative case. But it's simple. If we get a negative as an input number, we should immediately return false. So just if x is less than 0, in that case, we should return false. 
if not the case, uh, we create a reverse first of all zero. And uh, before we start a main algorithm, so we should copy x number. So let's say x copy equal x. And then start a main algorithm. So while x is greater than zero. So we continue. So reverse equal so reverse multiply 10 and then plus so x percent 10 and then uh, for next iteration so we have to divide x by 10 right so x slash slash equal 10 and then in the end we should return true or false if reverse equal x copy yeah so let me submit it yeah looks good and the time complexity of this solution should be order of log x and the space complexity is o1 yeah so that's all i have for you today please support me with your actions such as comment and hitting the like button i'll see you in the next question